Welcome to another video. I was going through one of my textbooks that I used in secondary school and I found this question and I got excited to share it. So let's look at it. This topic is called permutation and combinations in combinatorics. And here it's saying how many four digit odd numbers can be formed using 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 if repetition is allowed. That is, you can have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, like that. So you, it's not like if you've used a number, you can't use it again. You can always reuse a number as long as it's possible. So how many possible four digit odd numbers can you form if these are the only options that you have as digits? Let's get into it. So this is going to be a very quick one because all you have to do is create a template for the number. So you have a number. This is the first digit of the number. This is the second digit, the third digit, and the fourth digit. But one major characteristic or two major characteristics are one, it has to be a four digit number. You only need four of these to show up. Not four, you only need a maximum of four of them, okay? Or not, or just one. You can have one, 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 or one, zero, two, three, whatever you like, okay? Secondly, it has to be an odd number. So, well, we already created a template for a four digit number, but for a number to be odd, the last digit is the most important thing. Remember, the last digit cannot be zero cannot be two and it cannot be four. So in order to write the number, this is where you focus first. The last digit has to be an odd number. And how many odd numbers do we have? One and three. So how many options do we have? So here you have options. That's how you answer this. So the number of options here will be two. We actually have two options. It's multiplication. Okay, I put my multiplication here. Good. Now, I have used one of these numbers. I don't know which one I have used, but just to make life easy, we're gonna assume we've picked one of them. So how many numbers are left? We have four numbers remaining. However, because repetition is allowed, you can assume you have not used any of the numbers yet, so you can still use any five of them. Okay, now the next most important number is the first digit, the uh, digit rather, the first digit. Remember, it must be a four digit number. And whenever you want to decide what the first digit is, it doesn't affect what I, or whether it is odd or not. However, the first digit of any number cannot be zero. So as you can see, when you want to make your option for this one, you cannot use zero. That's the only number you cannot use. You're still allowed to use whatever number you've used here. You can still use it because repetition is allowed. So we can use one, two, three, or four here. So we have four options. So let's go here. Now, we have dealt with the last digit and the first digit. The second digit can be any number. It can be zero, it can be one, it can be two, it can be three, it can be four, right? Because repetition is allowed and zero is no longer a problem. So we have five options. And for the last one, the third one rather, the third digit, we can still repeat anything. We have five options. So total number of possible odd four digit numbers <laughs> four digit odd numbers is four times five times five 
times 2, which is equal to, this is 20 times 10, 200. So, you can actually generate 200 different numbers following this rule. Let me give you something to think about. Leave it in the comment section. What would be your answer if repetition was not allowed? So let me just add this here. Not allowed. What would be the answer? I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.